Here we're ready for math today, being Tuesday, April 14th. Today for math, you need your speed drill for lesson 132, just like this. Should have that. You also need pages 263 to 264 in your math book. Today we're going to be reviewing. We have a quiz in math tomorrow. Okay, so today will be a review day. No new concept today. So if you'll go ahead and grab your speed drill, let me grab my timer. You're on lesson 132. Directions say to round to the nearest dollar. So remember, one cent through 49 cent, you round down. 50 cent through 99 cent will be rounded up to the next dollar. So just for example, $1.69, you will round up to $2, that's right. Um, $2.22, 22 falls between zero and 49, so we just keep it rounded to $2, that's correct. Okay, so two minutes, and you may begin. It's about 30 seconds. Time is up for that. So if you'll just put that to the side, please. Oh, actually, no, let's go over it real quick. I want to go down and just give you the answers to those real quick to be sure you're staying where you need to be. So I'm going to go down the first column first. You should have $2 going down, $5, $4, $3, $6. Second column, $2, $4, one dollar, six dollars, five dollars. Okay, and just please also be sure you're putting in your dollar sign and decimal point there. Um, five hundred and five dollars are two very different things. Okay, all right. So with that being said, since today's a review, let's go ahead and look at our um, sheet for today. Let's go ahead and um, open that up. For your quiz tomorrow, there will be three um, different sections. The first section is going to be your, make sure you have your 11 um, multiplication table close by. That's one that will be on there. Um, guys, pay special attention to um, like 12 times 11. Make sure you, you, know, you can figure that out. Um, your 10 table. Make sure you know what 10 times 12 is, okay? Um, so, you know, you, you may not know 
exactly what 12 times 11 is, but you know how to start 11, uh, 9 times 11 equals 99, and you know how to build that table. These are two points a piece, and you can lose a lot of points there if you're careless, okay? The second section, uh, be sure you are familiar with your nine division table. Make sure you have that handy. Uh, make, check over it. Um, you know, when you write it, be sure that you have everything correctly in it. And then for number three, you're going, third section, you're going to have uh, your plotting points, okay? So just be sure that you are familiar with, like, if they give you plot, I'm just going to make up one, two, comma, three, that you know this, the two would be across to number two, and then you go up three, okay? So if you have any questions about those, just be sure that you are looking back, you have your papers for reference, um, go over those. You can also use your glossary at the back of the book, all right? So um, two points for section one tomorrow, three points for the nine division, writing the quotients, and then your plot, those points, those will be three points also, all right? So if you have any questions about any of that, like I said, please review back to your um, paper, okay, in your book. All right, so let's look at your um, 263 and 264 for today. Okay. All right. Number one, draw a triangle around the whole numbers, a trapezoid around the fractions, and a right angle around the mixed numbers. Okay, remember, a whole number is just a what? A whole number, I'll make up one. That's a whole number. A fraction has a numerator and a denominator. And a mixed number puts these together, 12 and 3 fourths. Whole number, fraction, mixed number is a mix of a whole number and a fraction. All right? And the trapezoid, remember, has that trap door, like it would come up trap something inside. Um, if you re don't remember how to draw that, check at the back of your book. Number two, round to the nearest dollar. Okay, that's easy. We just did that on our um, speed drill. Number three, draw lines to match. Okay, guys, listen. M. I'm a thousand. Miss Upchurch, remember? So go ahead and match M to 1,000. On our test, I had some people write one comma zero zero. That's one hundred. That you no, you need one more place there. So be sure that you're putting in one thousand. Had somebody write ten thousand? I'm not ten thousand yet. I'll take a thousand, but ten thousand is a little bit too old. So um, match your numbers there. Number four, solve the story problem. Braden is reading a book about Neil Armstrong. The book has 270 pages. If he reads nine pages each day, how long will it take him to finish the book? So what process will we need to do there? Divide, that's right, because you're dividing out the number of pages over um, days. So you're trying to figure out over nine days. So you're trying to figure out how many pages he needs to, I'm sorry, how many days it's going to take him to read the book if he reads nine pages per day. Sorry. All right, number five, write the quotients. If you want to just highlight something for your quiz tomorrow, number five would be a good section to highlight, making sure that you're studying over that information there. All right. Let's look at number six. Number six. 3,936 divided by, what's my table? Seven, thank you. This is 6A. All right, so I'm gonna grab my seven table, start working. 
3 is smaller than 7, so you can go through the zero step here. Oh, I'm sorry. Divide, write the remainder as a fraction. So if you look at the instructions, it says write the remainder as a fraction. So that's a mixed number. Excuse me for that. Um, 0 times 7 equals 0. We subtract. I'm going to draw my line next to my next number. 3 minus 0 is 3. It's smaller. And we're going to bring down the 9. I know that's kind of far apart, but that kind of gives you an idea. I wrote kind of big. So now we'll start all over again. 39 divided by 7. How close can we get? 5. That is correct. 5 times 7 is 35. We subtract. 9 minus 5 is 4. 3 minus 3 is 0. I don't want to put the 0 because it's going to be too many numbers under here because we're getting more and more numbers. All right. 4 is smaller than 7. We bring down the 3. Now we have 43 divided by 7. How close can we get? How close can we get? 42, and we need a 6. 6 times 7 equals 42. We subtract. 3 minus 2 is 1. Excuse me. 4 minus 4 is 0. 1 smaller. We're good. And so now I'm going to bring down, last step here, the 6. 16 divided by 7. How close can we get to 16 without going over? Right, 14. And I need 7 times what to give me 14? 2. 2 times 7 equals 14. We subtract. 6 minus 4 is 2. 1 minus 1 is 0. I don't want to put the 0 because I don't want to have too many numbers because I've got to write my remainder as a fraction. So I have 562. My remainder as a fraction will be 2 over my divisor, which is 7. So you come up with, for your quotient, 562 and 2 sevenths. And that's how you will do P, uh, B and C. Okay? B is your 6 table. C is your 9 table. All right, number seven, follow the signs. Check your work for C and D. Remember in um, on C, you add down first. Your add-ins, add-ins, add-ins. And then you um, go back up for the double lines at the top. You're just adding up. Putting your numbers, adding up. Putting your numbers, okay? And then for D, you're going to subtract, and then you're going to take your difference, add it to your subtrahend, or the 2,657, and that should give you the top number. And if you want to come over to the side and write your difference plus the subtrahend, then you can add it and check it that way. I'm fine with that, as long as you understand that you can check these by adding to make sure you have the right number. All right, number eight, write the temperature. Your brain booster there, that's a challenge to you. On homework, you do not have to do number one. For number two, I would like for you to do, let's do A and B. Number two, A and B only. Okay, so uh, again, remember, uh, number five is mainly pertaining to your quiz tomorrow. May be, please be sure you understand plotting points and connecting them um, on your quiz also and um, your review here today. So tomorrow we will take our quiz and just have a review sheet for tomorrow. Okay, so if you have any questions or anything about it, just send me a text, okay? So if you're following along with us after math, we will have reading.